Looks like somebody's planning a gender reveal. It's a boy. Hey everyone, Feliz Navi Vlogs day number one. I'm really excited. Um, we are gonna go pick out a tree. Well, not pick out a tree. We're gonna go look at trees. I'll explain later, but we're gonna decorate our tree today. We're going to attempt to decorate the house, um, but I am kind of getting a late start because I just got home from work. And let me tell you, I'm so thankful that I work at a school district. I have the summers off, I have the holidays off, but man, oh man, like having last week off for Thanksgiving and then coming back to work this week, it really, it's been an adjustment. <laughs> um, we went camping last week and then just kind of got things done around the house. So I'm adjusting to like getting back on my routine of it all. So, but with that being said, I'm going to go inside, I'm going to freshen up a little bit, and then we're going to head out. But before that, I want you guys to check out this video. I know Rylan talked about it on his vlog for Thanksgiving. I made these cute little like chocolate strawberry turkeys. It was so much fun. I love making like holiday treats. So I'm going to have you guys watch that while I freshen up and then we head out to go decorate well, not decorate, while we, <laughs> while we go get some Christmas decorations. Okay, here are our ingredients. Some strawberries, chocolates, pretzel sticks, and some marshmallows. The recipe did call for mini marshmallows, but my store only had large, so I had to make sure to cut them in fours. Our first step is going to be to wash our strawberries and then dry them completely. This is going to help the chocolate stick onto our strawberries. As you see here, I chopped off the top of the strawberries and next time I definitely will not do that. Even though I use these sticks to help me dip the strawberries into the chocolate, I noticed by cutting the tops, it made the strawberries a little loose when dipping them. So next we're going to place in our turkey legs. I did this by breaking the pretzel sticks in half and sticking them into the marshmallows. I dipped the marshmallows into the chocolate and placed them on the side of the strawberries. The chocolate, helps bond the marshmallows and the strawberries together, which helps secure our turkey legs onto our strawberries as we dip our strawberries into the chocolate. I then place the dipped strawberries onto parchment paper and place the tray into the fridge to help them cool down. These turned out so cute and everyone loved them. All right, guys, so we're here at the Christmas tree lot. So I can't have a real Christmas tree. Jared is very upset about it. Dang allergies. <laughs> yeah, I'm really allergic to Christmas trees, so we always have a plastic tree, but I want to see if I can find some garland for the outside of the house um, so we can decorate nice and pretty for the holidays. I can't wait. I just don't understand really. Are we just asking them for scraps? No, we're gonna- Do they sell little pieces <laughs> of like fall off Christmas trees? <laughs> well, no. We're, we're just gonna look around. I think essentially we just want like a small Christmas tree that almost looks like a bush but like also like a tree at the same time. So we're buying it to scrap it. Exactly. Oh and they also gosh. have a really cool little petting zoo, I think it is. So we'll see if we can get in there too. I say we just ask them for scraps. I think that's the move. <laughs> Let's see what we find. My love, does this bring back memories from when you used to work at the Christmas lot? Oh yeah, my first official job. Cut my teeth on these things, so what, they say. So do you know what kind of tree it is? I believe this is a Douglas fir. Douglas fir, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, there, there's only a couple kinds and that's the only one I remember the name of. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's what it is. Let's see what else they've got. Oh my gosh, I fell this teeth. <laughs> Look at this little dude. Look at his eyes. Oh my gosh, he's nibbling my hand. Do it, nibble, nibble. Nibble. Oh my goodness. Looks like somebody's planning a gender reveal. It's a boy. So we just got a master education class and Sandy is a, a pro at this point. So talk to us about the trees. What is this? So what we got here is a Douglas fir, but uh, you know, us people in the business, we call them the Doug. Okay. Okay. Yes. The Doug. <laughs> What's up? How do they do the Doug? What's the so, Dougie? So the Dougie is just a bush, but they cut it a certain way. So it looks like a tree. So wait, 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 wait. Conspiracy. <laughs> this isn't a Christmas tree to begin with? <gasps> Nah, it's a bush. All right, so talk to us about a real Christmas tree, so this okay? This is a real Christmas tree. It's called the Noble. 
I definitely didn't just mouth it to her. <laughs> and uh, this one grows a foot per year. So if it's six feet, six years old. Leave Very a comment. Cool. Would you buy a tree from her? <laughs> How would you rate it? Was this a success? I think it's perfect. I think it gave us an idea of what we want and what we don't want. So let's go get what we want. We on the hunt for some decorations. We're going out to Dollar Tree. Dang, you're just gonna give it away? <laughs> it's supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> Oopsie. Aww. Yes, you don't even know what you're in for. I mean, who doesn't love gnome decorations? I mean, some people are scared of them, but I love them. I love these, but I hate glitter. I'm one of those people who just dislikes glitter. It gets everywhere and can never take it off. Let's see, like this. It doesn't have any glitter. Let's see, oh my gosh. And then these are so cute. If you guys wanna like gift somebody like cookies or candy, these ones have little cute dogs. So if you're my sister and you're watching, you might be getting that. Great gift boxes right here. Ooh, are you finding things that you like or what? I think these elves are pretty cute. Ooh, the candy canes. Oh, I found your car right here. Oh, actually, <laughs> actually. I thought these would be rare at one point. They're not. There's tons of them. Are you still going to get it? No. Don't worry, guys. I look through. Nothing special. They're cute, right? Yeah. Should we get these ones or the pink ones? Uh, I mean, they're like a dollar. Is. You don't, you don't, you don't debate which one <laughs> at the dollar store. You just get both. You just get everything. I want to get custom-made stockings for the dogs. Wow, that sounds special. Yeah, that's Are you gonna fancy. make them? No. What if we just buy one of these and we customly put their names on it? Should we just get one of these and then just print out a picture of their faces and just like pop one on there? Oh, that's disrespectful. <laughs> they deserve better than that. What about these reefs? I think that's a pretty smart idea. Genius. Genius. Alright guys, so I picked up some Christmas trees at the Dollar Tree and we're going to head home to look over some more decorations that we actually have from last year and see if we need anything else. Oh, don't shoot it, don't shoot the code. Oh, don't shoot the code, that's, that's a secret, that's a secret. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a disaster. So okay. the, the Christmas decorations are here? There's, they're in one of these tubs. So I guess we'll have to go through each of them and find out which one. Oh my gosh, should we just do a time-lapse video? All right, we're trying to warm up. Go, give it all you got. One, two, uppercut it, jab it. Now I need a break. All right, we're gonna take turns. Look at you fucking. Oh, I found wrapping paper. Okay, hold on, I wanna show everything. Okay, okay, is that it? Is that it? Is that like, is it one of the first boxes? Uh, no, my dog. We've got like seven Christmas boxes. Are these both Christmas already? <laughs> yeah, the bottom one is garland. Okay. Right here. Is it? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So, where's the other Christmas one? On top. That's it? Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. So, now that we've found the goods, we're taking them back up. We're going to start decorating this place up. All right, guys. So, we brought up our decorations. Jared is off to the other garage that we have to get the, our Christmas tree. Last year, we ended up having a really bad slab leak in our house, so a lot of our decorations got misplaced. So my sister let us borrow some of hers, so they are in this bin. And then if you see, here are our little froggies. Um, 
just one of the many tanks we have here at this house. So I'm just gonna wait for Jared to bring up our tree and then we're gonna go through all of these decorations. All right, so as I'm waiting for Jared to bring up the tree, I set up this table for us to put the tree on and to lay out our decorations. Here's Harper. Oh, I think I hear Jared coming. Let's see. I found it. All right, guys, we found the Christmas tree. The bottom of everything <laughs> you got the table? Yeah, so go ahead and place it there. Perfect. All right. So this tree, guys, Jared surprised me with it last year. No, we've had this tree for years. Maybe two years. Maybe, maybe two years. Maybe two years. Maybe two years. We got so, all the original pieces. Yeah, and it's a pre-lit tree. It's just a little cute mini tree. And so we're going to set it up. Here is where we put it. Don't be nervous. I know it's in front of the AC, but the AC won't hit it. Look how cute it is. And it has little pine cones and these little cranberry berry things. Wow, a bunch of loose pine cones. <laughs> All right. Is it only the two pieces? I think so. We'll have to maybe even put a box I thought there was more than just underneath. Pieces. It's farm fresh Christmas trees. All right guys, so I found this really cute skirt downstairs and I wanted the tree to be a little taller since this is the space it's gonna go in. And I went ahead and I found this little cubby and turned it upside down. So now Jared's gonna go ahead and put the tree up onto our little cubby. All right, let's see how it looks. And I'm telling you, the fact that this tree is pre-lit, it just makes things so much easier. Should we plug it in or wait for the skirt? Uh, yeah, do the skirt first. They have this little Velcro on the end. I think that looks really cute. All right, now we're plugging it in? Yes. All right, Wally, are you excited? Yeah, you are, buddy, huh? Oh. Wait, let's see, let's see. Let's turn off a couple lights. Oh, it's too, it's too early to, to say the ta -das. It's too early to That's to, more Christmas lighting. Ta-da! Do you want to turn it around? Because I feel like there's more lights on the left-hand side. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Okay, there it is. There it is. It's getting Christmassy in here. So some of this is going to be my sister's. So we're just going to go through and see what we want. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right. So it looks like our colors are going to be red, silver, and green. <laughs> so I like these ones because, again, I'm not a huge fan of the glitter. Oh, I hate glitter. So I think we're just gonna grab whatever we can find and then we'll figure it out on the tree. I think it's a nice little necklace. There you go. And you can wear this one. I think this one, the battery is dead. We'll just stick with those, what do you think? Let's do it. All right. All right, guys, so these are the ornaments I found and I chose for our tree. So now we're going to put them on our tree. I think you have the better eye for this. So I'm going to go ahead and let you put these on the tree. And I'm going to go ahead and get the cool shots. Thank you for the compliment. The good thing about a smaller tree is that it doesn't take a lot to fill it up. There you go. Life hack. Life hack. And some people... Don't really do put them all the way in the back because you can't really see them anyways. But yeah, I was kind of along the lines of thinking, why would we do that? So that way, every angle we, that we look at. So hmm. when we're outside. <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to see it from outside. All right, what do you think? Right yeah. there, that's perfect. I think I actually want to switch a few. So maybe. Oops, easy. These last pieces, what are you doing with them? Listen, this is very tricky to make sure it's a balanced tree. What is the tip you would give people? I think you just put them in there and you take a look and 
you maybe see like for instance this is like two gold and this is two red so i'm just going to switch this one out for this so you just lay them out and then you kind of play along with it and see what looks best all right so like i said we misplaced a lot of our ornaments last year uh, when we had the slab lake but when i was looking for the ornaments i did find one that we, we got a long time ago when we first uh, started collecting some ornaments well that'll be the last one on the tree so why don't you do it <laughs> and then we'll have the reveal we'll put it right so, here on top like oh my goodness oh perfect <laughs> Did Where it did break? It, it looks like it broke. Oh, shoot. I actually think I'll find it, but for right now, let's just put him right there. <laughs> He's so cute. You want to go turn off the lights and we could do a reveal? Yes. Ta-da! Wow. <laughs> So here's our tree. I couldn't find a star that fit our tree. So tomorrow when we go look for decorations, I'm going to make sure to find a star so we can put it on our tree. And I also have a cool advent calendar coming in tonight. So uh, we'll go ahead and show you that next because it's so stinking cute. I can't wait. So it arrived, you guys. I thought this was going to come in late. It is a Christmas advent calendar. It's the building block. So this is what it's gonna look like once we're done building it on December 25th or 24th, because it's for 24 days. And when you open it, they have these boxes. What? And, and each box has the Legos that you're supposed to build that day. And it comes with this booklet that gives you like the instructions on how to do that. I thought it was so cool because they have different types of building blocks. So I think they have like houses and stores. So I figured this year we'll do the Christmas tree and next year we'll just build our little village full of uh, blocks. Which well, I, I think they're just Legos. Well, I definitely thought it was chocolates. I didn't know it was something <laughs> we had to build, but. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's get this going. Perfect. Let's organize the pieces. There it is, our day one advent calendar building block. And we're gonna put it right here and we're gonna be able to see it grow as the days go by. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on day one at Feliz Navi vlog. And we'll see you guys next time. Feliz Navi Vlog. Feliz Navi Vlog. Feliz Navi Vlog. This is the Vlogmas of Sandia. Ay, ay, ay.